big party happening this weekend over at the Tower Theater. All to raise some funds for the upcoming Dead Center Film Festival. Dave Morris alongside my friends Lance McDaniel and uh, Kent Myers to talk about the party that will be on Saturday. Or perhaps we're here to break down the Royal Wedding. Which do you want to do? <laughs> Let's, Let's focus start. on the party first and then move into the Royal Wedding. Oh, good thinking. Lance yeah. McDaniel, Executive Director of the Dead Center Film Festival, Kent Myers with KentEvents.com. You guys are producing, correct? Yes, yes. yes. And we are, we participate with the festival as a festival sponsor, and then my my service there is events manager throughout the festival and mm -hmm. kickoff party. Well, let's go right there. Yes. Tell us about this kickoff party. Well, so this is our 18th year, okay. and, um, and we want to do something really special, and we... Um, um, we have been throwing a kickoff party, I think, since 2007, yes. maybe 2007, 7, 8? Yes. Um, where we started with a, a movie outside and then and it's moved to a bunch of different locations over the years. But um, last year we moved it about three weeks before our festival, and that to me has been the greatest change ever because it's very hard to run a festival after going to a party all night. And, um, and so, <laughs> That's true. yeah, so. As it uh, turns out. As it turns out. Well, because the party grew from a couple hundred people to now right. 800 people it come became to this party. an event. It became yes. a massive the event. The place yes. for people to go and see and be seen and celebrate. And exactly. So last year we celebrated Gary Busey the year before that. Where, where were we the year before that? Is that the um, Indian Cultural Center? Uh, no, the year before that was 21C Museum no. Hotels. No, yeah. the Jones. Oh, forgive me. No, the, the Jones, Jones was last year, the 21C, you right. Was well, so, um, well, so we came to Kent, and Kent has run our events for several years. And the, and the fact is, we show 135 movies, and so the core of our festival is films, but the reason we get 35,000 people to it is because we have super fun parties. And the biggest party we throw is kind of a thank you to our sponsors and also a fundraiser to raise money for our education programs. And, um, and so we came to Kent this year and said, okay, how do we change it and make it a total blowout? And he came up with what I believe is probably the best idea we've had so far. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So here we go with Studio 54. Uh, we're going to have a throwback party, um, pay some great, um, some great homage to the original Studio 54, which was housed in a theater much like Tower Theater in Oklahoma City. So we've taken this party to Tower Theater, um, and uh, we're going to pull out all the stops. We've got fantastic drinks and libations, as always, because we have great sponsors um, with Corona Light, Charles Smith Wines, and Svedka Vodka. So you can expect all those great things, just like the festival. Um, but the party is on. Well, let's find out just how much they know about the <laughs> All right. Before. We have some trivia prepared for these gentlemen. Okay. Uh, for this year's theme, as you mentioned, Studio 54. The first question, guys, where was the original Studio 54, or the Studio 54 that we're talking about, located? L.A., New York, Hollywood, or London? Uh, B, New York. Go exactly. New York. Exactly. Going New York? Yes. Correct. It was in New York. Pretty obvious. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was a good one. All there's right. There's only All three right. questions here. So, exactly. Uh, we'll move on to that second question. Okay. What type of club was it? Punk, disco, perhaps country? Was it heavy metal? I'll answer that one. It was a very proud disco club, and so we are bringing back the disco this, this Saturday. Absolutely. Um, there will be some modern music too, but we're going to have a lot of disco, a lot of songs from the 70s and 80s. Um, Blaco is the DJ. Yes. We've got tons of dancers. Race Dance is going to be there. Cool. Yes. Yeah. She does a great job. She, yeah, He Shop Who's yep. is amazing. Yep. And she and I actually have a movie in the festival this year. That's a VR movie as well. And she choreographed all of it. Very so, nice. Yeah, she yeah, does so. a great job with the hip hop nutcracker, which I believe is the last time yes. I caught up with her. Yeah. Her and she, well, so now she's moved. So she's down on Film Row. Right. So she, cool. is, she is opposite our office on Film Row. And they're leading hip hop and breakdancing classes there all week. So, so sign up and learn how to hip hop. No one wants to see me try to hip hop. <laughs> uh, we have one more question for you guys. Okay. There it is. When did, oh, this is a trick time. question by the way, when did it close its doors for the last time? Because that theater is open today as a venue and performance theater. So I don't know with that, and I didn't memorize that I would say 86. Choice. And you are correct, it is yes. 86. I, of course, you know, as clubs do, it's closed multiple times. Yes. And, Quite the scandalous past. Well, exactly. Well, there's club. a great movie about it, and um, and yeah. what I I don't know if everyone knows this, but Ian Schrager was the co-founder. It was Steve Rubell and Ian Schrager, and Ian Schrager started the Royalton Hotel, the Paramount Hotel, the Standard Hotel, and so he is a kind of a pioneer and visionary within the hotel space. And um, and um, but they they both went to prison because there were some shady dealings. <laughs> there was a lot of money studio. going on at this There was place. a ton of money yeah. and a lot of it was exchanged in cash and all of that was as... as there may have been some spoons involved as well. But there, there was a whole... <laughs> <there is> a <laughs> lot going on that won't be going on at our party, but gotcha. what will be going on at our party is 
um, all the revelry. So we think it's going to be a super fun night. We get we anticipate about 700 people. Yes, I think, yes. and so yeah, so yeah, it's, it's a big, big party. party. Yeah. It's a hundred dollars, and so and people were asking, okay, so why is it a hundred dollars? Well, it's it's all you can drink and eat. There's live performances. There's there's music all night, and it's a fundraiser. So part of the reason it's not a twenty dollar ticket is we're trying to raise money to to support Oklahoma's largest film festival and also to pay for the free education program that we do year round in rural Oklahoma. I'm so I'm going to ask you more yeah. about that because a lot of times when we catch up, maybe it's with uh, Tabasovsky on, yes. on the the monthly film and music segment we have here. You're out and about the state preaching the gospel to the students or talking film with them, but tell us a little bit more about the education program. Well, so our education program has changed a little bit over the years. So Kim Haywood and I started it together, um, started this program together about seven years ago, and we go around to 30 high schools around the state, and our goal is to start in Guyman and go to Miami and down to Durant, and we're trying to go as far as possible to reach people that aren't necessarily being influenced by the stuff that's going on here in Oklahoma City. Um, and so, um, so the first few years, it was us teaching them how to make Movies, and then what we what we realized over time is the exercises we came up with really do a better job of getting all the students engaged in talking and, and speaking and collaborating and, and thinking differently. And so now we when we go to these schools, our goal is to get students up, standing up five times per class period, saying their name, collaborating with someone that they don't normally collaborate with, coming up with ideas that they're not otherwise exploring in school. And so the teachers love it because it's just getting kids to think differently. And um, and so um, all the schools we go to invite us back. And it's a, it's a really good time, and we'll start back in August and start on the road. Well, Dead Center Film Festival that we're alluding to is coming up. It's June 7th through the 10th, various locations uh, around the urban core. The party we're talking about, the, uh, the kickoff party, is Saturday night at the Tower Theater, uh, 8 o'clock, I believe. You've got it. It's the start time, and I have one question for you guys. Yes. Um, will there be glitter? And, and I mention this because... Uh, the, the gentlemen that you were talking about, Robert Isabel and uh, Ian Schrager, back at the original Studio 54, that's one of the legends that they dumped so much glitter on the floor. There's like four inches of glitter that yes. they, the quote was, he was like standing on stardust. <laughs> <laughs> Will there be that much glitter? Do you know, we don't have to provide any glitter for these dead It just shows parties. up. It just shows up. <laughs> yeah. The people bring it, it creates itself. Um, so w we won't hose you down with any glitter, but but you may leave with a little bit. Maybe may <laughs> yeah. exactly. Uh, again, the uh, the point of this segment is to talk about that kickoff party uh, Saturday night at Dead Center. But you alluded to some uh, some tech that's coming up. So yes. you want to tease to some of that that we can expect? Of course, of at course. The film festival. Well, yeah. So the Studio Fifty Four party is to support our festival. And some of the highlights coming forward is we are launching in a new cap a new tech conference called Tech Center. And um, and last year we had a woman named Kim Voiner, who's an Oklahoma who now lives in Seattle, that programmed. 12 virtual reality films and 800 people went through and experienced it and that's where you put on the headsets and it's everything's in 360 and it was awesome blew me away so I went and actually made a, a 360 film this summer I was so impressed by it which will be playing this year but so she's coming back with don't all you do that films. sometimes Kent you're like yes. I'm so impressed with something I'm going to go produce a film skip away <laughs> make it happen yeah. well, exactly. impressive uh, and uh, yes it's, and, and I actually hired her she flew back from Seattle and went to Alva we made it in Alva as a community art project and it was awesome it was a great experience there where I'm from um, but so we're launching this Tech Center conference. It'll be at 21C Museum. On it'll start on Friday the 8th of June, and it'll be keynote addresses from, um, from Baker Hughes GE Research, from Trifecta Communications. Um, we have, we're gonna talk about drones, virtual reality, and augmented reality. And what's been so exciting is we came at it from a film perspective, thinking that these are the three technologies that are really kind of revolutionizing what films look like and, um, and where films are headed in the future. And then once I started meeting with a lot of tech people here, Starspace 46, and especially uh, Jarrett um, Mar Martin has been fantastic in helping me in linking us to these different tech companies. And so um, now that I'm meeting with them, like there's an architecture firm, ADG, that'll be presenting at the conference that can build your entire structure in virtual in the virtual world before they lay a single brick so that you can do a walkthrough of what you would be doing with they the building. See cost savings, it's time amazing. Saving, and then uh, and then I mean there, we're gonna have a robot from Stillwater. Like we're gonna have all sorts of really cool technology and all of it is being created right here in Oklahoma and so we're very excited to highlight the tech industry here in Oklahoma and the goal with this tech conference is to start it run it for a couple years and then spin it out into its own conference so that that centers a film festival and then we have a tech and then we have an actual full like full week tech conference going on and I don't know who will run that but basically we're gonna to try to incubate it for two years and then spin it out so amazing how it's 
it kind of evolved over 18 years, right? In 18 years, but, but I, th I mean, I think that's true for all businesses is you've got to constantly look at what you're providing people, what your customers are looking for. And I think what people come to Dead Center for is film and excitement. And so for us to really amp up that excitement and for us to stay relevant in film, we need to know what's next with film and what's next right now is virtual reality, augmented reality. Interesting stuff. The Dead Center Film Festival heading your way June 7th through the 10th. You can find out information uh, at deadcenterfilm.org. The big party, the kickoff party, is this weekend. There's the deadcenterfilm.org website. The uh, annual kickoff party is this weekend. It's Saturday night, 8 p.m. Tower Theater. You can find information on that website, deadcenterfilm.org. And you can also buy your tickets directly from Tower. And something else that's new is um, is you can buy tickets at the door. So we will yes. like like it it will it'll probably sell out. So we're not selling a ton at the door, but it is possible if you if you forget about it, just come to Tower Theater, get out your credit card, and come on in. And you're supporting a great cause and having probably the best night of your life. TowerTheaterOKC.com is that website. It actually says the best party of your life. Exactly. Well, so. and we mean it. Okay. <laughs> Guys, always great to see you. Great to see you um, too, Dave. Thanks thank for having me. Have fun this weekend. You too. Thanks. Do.